The American dream is dead. Wonders shall never end, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys will be expecting this, but hey. Watch. This stuff has been on the shelves for decades. And <laughs> Since we've been 1976. We've been taking it, imagining exactly. that it's been working, but what the FDA is saying today is actually it never did work? It never did work. And what they want to do is they're proposing an order <laughs> to go ahead and get it off the shelves. Anybody, you guys, patients, scientists, doctors can comment until May 7th. And then come May 7th, they'll make a decision on whether to actually make an order to remove it from the shelves. What they're saying is back in 1976, studies were done differently. And looking at the studies that they use today's standards, it would not have passed. This is oral phenylephrine. It okay. is ubiquitous. And there was okay. over $200 million worth of oh, nice. these well, medicines don't last my year. And, and so if, <laughs> you know, but it's not all of if you look at some of them, they're Sudafed, they're Sudafed PE. It's the PE part, the phenylephrine, and not pseudoephedrine. It's phenylephrine, but it's only the oral phenylephrine, not the nasal one. The oral doesn't work because of the way our body metabolizes it. And so you want to be a label reader. It's not dangerous. FDA's mandate you. is safe and effective, so it's still safe. It's just not effective. It doesn't work. They can use nasal steroid sprays, Even especially if it's allergic-type reactions. Safe. They can use other nasal sprays, one called oxymetazolin, but you only want to use that for three days. Yeah. On top of that, pseudoephedrine works great. It's over the counter, or it's over the counter, but you have to ask the pharmacist for it. And then there's uh, steam myth bass, nasal sprays, those kind of things. All of this stuff has been on. Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure you you'll be wondering. Yeah, I was wondering at first. I, I thought it was not real, but hey, I'm looking at it here on CBS News, and yes, guys, it is real. There, it's crazy. It's crazy how how things just you know turn out out of the blue. Well, if you have said this some time ago, they will label you a conspiracy theorist and all. But hey, when they say it, it's not no. rules for thee, none for me. <laughs> wow. So guys, this next one is when you begin your foundation on lies, you are meant to go down this route. Watch. Star of the Paris Olympics is calling it quits. Rachel Ray Gun Gun announced that her professional breakdancing career is over. The 37-year-old Australian went viral with her unorthodox dance moves during the game. She cited unfavorable reaction to her performance as the reason for her sudden exit. One of the stars of the Paris Olympics is calling. Well, they still calling her one of the stars. <laughs> Oh my good Jesus. You guys know the whole story of how she actually um, became the winner of the whole competition in Australia to actually represent them at the Olympics. Well, everything was all a huge scam. Yes, it was all a huge, it was all a huge scam. There are real break dancers out there. They, they did not pick them. That is how the world works. That's how it is. The real competent guys are not picked. The other look guys well if you begin your foundation on lies you are you are meant to go down this way and that, that's the reason why i tell people that truth is the safest ground to stand upon if they had picked somebody with competence they would have done far better you know at first she was riding with the wave but after some time it just became too much that the country couldn't take it anymore she had to resign I'm pretty sure it might not just come from her, it might actually come from the higher house. They tell her, hey, you have to resign. You know, this embarrassment is just too much. And to be honest, the embarrassment was too much. Like, it went viral. People were using it as TikTok trend and all. You know, even here on YouTube Shorts, you can see a lot of people copying the whole kangaroo dance moves and, and all. So, it, it's funny, but still, it doesn't, it doesn't sound well when you actually know the exact story of the kangaroos so when you hear that story you'll be able to um get everything and say oh yeah now it makes sense well that's all for this video thank you guys for lending me your ears i'll see you guys in the next one